let's take a minute back and see why people are celebrating. <laughs> okay, forgive me. President Mwai Kibaki. Why are people paying the last respect to him? In this video, I'll be talking about him and understanding what he did for this great nation of Kenya. Thank you. I mean, it is undisputed that him, the Excellency Mwai Kibaki, was a witty guy, man with brains, an economist, and everything that he did, he did it carefully and tactically. In his reign from 2002 to 2013, we have witnessed much things, mixed emotions, from a new constitution to the bloody 2007 post-election. So what's so great about this man? We are yet to know. We can agree by him starting the free primary education. Many, many people have been educated and thus a higher percentage of Kenyans being learned and can stand and feed themselves through this education. So in my video, you see people walking. They are actually walking to go and pay their last respect. Unfortunately for my video, it will not show uh, all the way to the parliament building since we are not allowed to take videos or photographs inside parliament building. But everyone you see in this video is walking towards paying his last respects to the president. I mean, if not you or your brother, someone has benefited from the reign of no, President always. Mwai Kibaki. He's among the a best bandera. people we celebrate as being no, the best president. No, Actually, for me, Austin Steve, I will give him credit as being the best president that Kenya has yet to see. I believe there will be more people who will be better politicians, better presidents. But for now, I think Mwai Kibaki takes the trophy. With Kibaki's legacy, I as a youth, I am motivated to push to the limits what I can do for the people, what can I get them to achieve. In, in his reign, hell, I can remember him calling people Kumbafu. And it was, well, it was intriguing. And I remember I've seen some videos of which someone was asking for help from government. And he simply said, you all the time keep on asking the government for help. What will you do for the government? I'm here challenging you guys as my friends. We need to wake up and give our services, our brains, and what we can have to other people. Let's push ourselves to offer services to other people. So it's through others that we'll gain and the other people to gain too. So, thank you. What do you know watching the video? As we went to pay our last respects, I mean, I couldn't help but notice the police, the KDF, the NYS. And well, this guy was a commander in chief during his reign. Did we know that we and we sent our troops to Somalia to finish Al Shabab? Well, uh, the goal has not yet been achieved, but it is among he is among the best commanders in chief. During his reign, the KDF has stood out to protect the Kenyan territorial waters, and we are so proud to be safe in Kenya. So my guys, I mean, let's celebrate this guy during, during his last send-off. Security was tight, by the way. I remember we had to remove our belts. Here, as you see, I am removing my belt. And that's why this video is a bit shaky and messy. And well, you know, security first. I mean, we can attack this parliament in a second. Sometimes isn't it painful to see people celebrate you when you are dead, but they did nothing when you are alive? <laughs> okay, I am one of them. I am one of those people who is celebrating our president after he's dead. But well, I'll try to be better. Right now, <laughs> President Moe Kibaki can be hailed for giving this country a 7% growth. 
I remember one of his successes was when he allowed border borders, these border borders that are right now full in Kenya, almost in every part of the country. He, it was tax-free to import border borders to the country, and this gave job opportunities to the youth, to the, to the people who are jobless, to the people who are terrorizing the communities. And well, I mean, I have to applaud to this president. We guys need to celebrate more presidents in, in this thought. I'll probably be making a video about President Ruru Kenyatta. Well, I'll not be applauding much, but I'll applaud where he deserves credit. Thank you.